The question is, are we sold out to the God of the cross? Are we sold out to the God of the cross? Are we sold out to the heart of God? Go to the book of Acts, Acts chapter 11. And look at this. You want to talk about, you can say whatever else you want to say about David Asherick. You can say, oh, he was a good preacher. Oh, he was a good teacher. Oh, he ran a school, whatever. I don't care what you say. But if you could get to the end of my life and say about me what was said about Barnabas, and we don't know much about Barnabas. If I told you to take out a piece of paper right now and write down 10 things about Barnabas in the New Testament, not one of you could do it. You don't know anything about Barnabas, hardly. You know he was Paul's companion. That's about what I know. But look at what scripture says about Barnabas in Acts chapter 11, verse 24. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Beloved, dare I say it, that if you came to the end of your life and all that was said about you is she was a good woman, full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord, that your life has been a raging success. Amen. He was a good man, full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Question, you think Barnabas will be in heaven? You got it. Because his heart was the heart of a missionary. Because heaven's heart is a missionary heart, heaven was his home. You think Barnabas was perfect? You think he ever got mad at his wife if he had one? Scripture just says he was a good man. God saw the trajectory of Barnabas' life. He was full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and many people were added to the Lord. You're there on the second to the last page of your notes. And there's a paragraph there that says, it is a, does everyone see that? Desire of Ages, page 822. It is a fatal mistake. What kind of a mistake? Fatal, fatal mistake. What happens when you commit a fatal mistake? It is a fatal mistake to suppose that the work of saving souls depends alone on who? The ordained minister. All to whom the heavenly inspiration has come are put in trust with the gospel. All who receive the life of Christ are ordained to work for the salvation of their fellow men. See, you thought I was ordained, but I'm telling you today, you're ordained. Amen. Everyone is ordained to work for their fellow brothers and sisters outside of Christ. It says it right there. Are ordained to work. It is a fatal mistake. All who receive the life of Christ are ordained to work for the salvation of their fellow men. For this work, the church was established and all who take upon themselves its sacred vows are thereby pledged to be co-workers with Christ. How many people here have been baptized? Okay, then you are pledged to be a co-worker with Christ. And it is a fatal mistake to suppose that the work of saving souls depends on David Asherick. That is a fatal mistake. Who do you suppose it would be fatal to? Wouldn't be fatal to me. It would be fatal to you. If, you. if you thought, oh man, I'm so glad there's David Asterix, Doug Bachelors, and Mark Finley's in the world to go out and save those souls. You can be happy about that all you want. But, but if you think that that somehow absolves you from responsibility to do the same thing, what kind of a mistake have you made? Fatal. You've made a fatal mistake. Now let me tell you why. You've made a fatal mistake because you've not engaged in missionary work because all true disciples are born into the kingdom of God as missionaries. So you've not engaged in true missionary work. So you've not developed a character like the great archetypal missionary, Jesus Christ. And because you've not developed a character like Jesus Christ's, heaven is not your home and God will honor your request at the end of your life to live apart from him. But life apart from him is not life, it's death. For more information on this or other materials by Pastor David Asherick, feel free to contact us at 1-866-772-9368 from Canada or anywhere else in the world at 248-275-1050. You may also visit our website, ppvida.com.